Parks and programs accessible for all to enjoy. Recreation and fitness opportunities that result in good health and well-being. Acting as stewards of our precious environment. And fostering partnerships and alliances that promote our parks. These are the core values of the Chicago Park District. I'm General Superintendent and CEO Tim Mitchell, and welcome to Chicago at Play. North Avenue Beach is a solitary place during the winter, only to be invaded by a lively crowd with a cause. Polar Plunge is a great time, filled with fun and excitement. But the primary focus is to support a terrific cause with Chicago roots. Polar Plunge event is the main fundraising event uh, for Special Olympics Chicago. The Special Olympics program was born here in Chicago. First games were held in Soldier Field in 1968. The Chicago Park District implements the Special Olympics Chicago program, and um, the only way we've been able to do it successfully is with the support of Special Children's Charities, who's been the funding arm um, of the program. Special Olympics Chicago, through a partnership with the Chicago Park District and the Chicago Public Schools and our charity, Special Children's Charities, we fund um, the actual athletic events, and we have about 5,000 or so athletes in our program. Special Children's Charities and the Chicago Park District are able to offer over 45 events, special Olympic competitions, special events, camps, leagues. So it's a constant service and program that's going year round. And it's for any individual that's eight years and older um, with a cognitive disability. Chicago Children's Charities enlist the help of some major corporate sponsors to assist in funding various events throughout the year. But the majority of donations come from a growing group of individuals, like Polar Plunge participants, who are committed to this special charity. This event funds almost half, if not 75% uh, of our funds for the entire year. So it's a really important event that we do every year. Um, and the money we raise from here obviously not only goes to, toward continuing the programs we have, but also expanding the program and trying to get even more um, athletes that are out here in the city of Chicago to come out and be able to compete. This is one of the most rewarding experiences. It's a lot of fun. Everyone enjoys themselves, and uh, you know, it's just a great cause. It's nice to uh, come out on a Sunday, do something silly, but to really give back and raise money for something like this. Polar Plunge is a morning event, and basically it's you know, people will go and get sponsorship, kind of like a walkathon or a, uh, a run in the park. Our differences is we do ours. Basically, people donate money to you, basically jump in the lake. <laughs> Either register or on site that day. They can go online to chicagopolarplunge.org and register online, which nowadays it's nice to email it out to your friends and get people to sponsor you. Um, we ask for a hundred dollar minimum um, from each plunger. Plungers that raise $250 will receive a beach towel, and those that raise $500 will walk away with a duffel bag. And participants in the polar plunge are encouraged to be creative with their attire. I absolutely encourage people to wear costumes. We have a big costume event, so best uh, costume for individuals, best costumes for groups. We've had anywhere from toga parties to Revenge of the Nerds. It's kind of um, nice because a lot of people seem to be doing things as a group. Ready to take the plunge? Check-in and last-minute registration begins at 9.30 a.m. March 7th in the North Avenue Beach Boathouse. Plungers start hitting the water at 10 a.m. After your dip in Lake Michigan, thaw out at the meltdown party with a few frozen friends. Immediately following the last plunger jumping in, a DJ has already started. We have a meltdown party, we call it, so we'll have raffles, we'll have food. It's just nice for people to hang out and start telling their stories then and you know, sharing their own experience of the day. It's a really good way to get to meet some of our athletes, uh, meet some of the people that do a lot of volunteer work, uh, and just have a really good time in the middle of winter. It's a really, really fun day. Uh, you know, come volunteer, come work the event, 
um, jump in the lake if you want, or just come out and uh, have a beer and a, and a hot dog with all our uh, all our volunteers and our friends. Uh, and it's for a great cause. To continue this legacy and have it continue this movement and keep growing and keep reaching um, more and more individuals, we do need people to come out and go to the Polar Plunge. We do need the support of individuals, as crazy as they may be, wanting to jump in the lake so we can continue providing the service and, and reaching more and more athletes.